Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Ian Genius, and this is Left Alone, a game put out by Volumetric Games. Uh, they are currently working on a new game that I'm excited about. Let's go ahead and jump into their previous game. Let's check this out. A bond between friends. In the face of adversity, use the light to guide you. Isolated from your comforts. A little too fast. How scary would it be if the voice inside your head stopped working? Honestly, having the head voice in your head stop working may be a benefit for some people. No. Ooh, I got a text message. Oh, I actually get a, a, an iPhone. Hey, Joel. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's been so long. Hey, man. Yeah. I will be so nice. But hey, man. Yes, we'll be so nice to get away from here. Need a break with the guys. We've gone fishing. We'll be back soon. Follow the trail to the camp. Maybe collect some sticks and rocks to build our campfire. Ten of each should do. See you soon. Way to take advantage of your friend who uh, was going through a divorce and all this other crap. Ooh, that is a little wonky on there. Anyway, you're like, hey, guy. You know, we're supposed to be camping together to kind of get a break from things. But, you know... Go ahead and, you know, set up your tent, build our campfire. Did you bring the beer? Go back and get the beer, because, you know, yeah, wab it. The stick? That's a stick. And a rock, rock. Okay, it is not keeping track of how many I have. We got two sticks, three rocks, four rocks, five rocks. It looks really good, though. Love it. I love the piano motif in the background too. The six rocks, oh, there's a stick. I can't believe I'm excited for picking up sticks and rocks. Aha, there's a lot. They've done this work themselves. All right, we are good on rocks. We just need some stick. Oh, but I can grab more rocks. Already littering, come on guys. Alright. Oh, okay. Put that there, I guess. Now what? Oh, I guess we should light it. Perfect. We're done. Alright, well thanks for checking out the episode. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what do they want us to do now? E. Make sure to set up your tent and have a drink of water if you're feeling thirsty after the walk. Won't be long. Oh, okay. I don't know why they're not inviting me to go fish, but sure. By God, I set that tent up fast. Just like, whoop, that tent. All right, um, I guess this. Oh God, they've roofied me. Oh God, they're not my friends. No, my butt. What terrible friends would roofie their friend? Oh, there's you see him dead. Two hours later. There's somebody in the forest. <clears throat> uh, man. I'm alive. Uh Help! Joel, we came across this abandoned school and couldn't resist taking a look. The gate and door were open. The door locked on us. And the lights have gone out. Come get us out. Joel, help us out, man. What are you doing? I don't think we're in here alone. Well, that's why you should roofie your buddy. All right, let's grab this flashlight. F is for flashlight. Cool. Got some batteries. Nothing in there. Okay, so this, I think this is like Resident, you're not Resident Evil, Silent Hill Fog, where I die or get turned around if I go this way. I just want to really go into it, so. Cool. We have the trail set out for us. Now, one question I do have right out of the gate is how quickly does the flashlight go on and off or out? Is this something I can leave on? Or I might have to be constantly eating batteries, kind of like in our folio playthrough there, lasting just a couple seconds. 
What? Okay. There's a barricaded road and a school bus. I'm guessing they just shot off the road? Here's a map. Looks like we're missing part of it though. Okay. Mount High Boarding School. Huh. Looks like they... Well, I going to say it looks like they crashed into this, but there's a chain link fence on the other side and looks like it's built out of Minecraft blocks. There's a sleeping bag or something there. Huh. Oh, pretty moon. Pretty moon. Good night, moon. School bus stop ahead. Alright, three pass. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. We only go 10 miles an hour. Weight limit 10 tons. There's a strong wooden bridge. And it doesn't look like we can go this way. Okay. We got left or right, I'm gonna go left. We found a shack. Alright, let's grab this ladder. That could be important. Uh, nice little stove. Looks pretty comforting. Except for the murder tools and the bloody... Uh, cooler right there. I think I found where the children went. Riddle me this, Sherlock. Are the children in the cooler? The door is locked. Probably a good thing. Ah, oh, here's the key. Or not. You know. Like, okay. Can't grab the axe, but I can grab boards by God. Can I grab that board? No. <laughs> oh, somebody got murdered on the bed. Somebody collects signs. Can I go in here? No. Whoa. Why is... Uh, hmm. Another board. Okay, cool. Like a good murderer, they have locked the door. Uh, so it looks like we are down to just this way. I definitely like the tree effects and everything. Ooh. Oh, he's sad sounding puppy. Uh, old power way station, I guess. Why am I? I feel like I'm really zoomed in. Use keypad. Um, dang. Uh, eight six seven five three three oh nine. No. Um. Okay, okay, close. Side bagels, sidle gas, sidle gas. I got more batteries. Oh, I was zoomed in. <laughs> that explained why it looked like I was zoomed in. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing found in the crates. Oh, my phone. No. I hit P for phone. Didn't come up. Nothing found. Alright, so we're going behind the house now. After a little bit of running around. We have this. We can put the boards there that we found. Perfect! Sketchy dock. Alright, we are making progress! I'm glad they set out a nice trail for us. I like the little street lamp lights. The wolves are harmonizing now. We might be in trouble. Huh. Are they lake wolves? Is that where they're hiding in the water? A brick? Map piece. Cool. And more batteries. 
Oh, okay. We have five batteries, few inputs of battery. And looks like we are surrounded by a fence. So we will go needs power. Attention, please keep out. We regret to inform you that the decision has been made to close the school due to exposure to toxic waste. Lovely. How did the school get exposed to toxic waste? And how do I turn the power on? This isn't the school my friends are, though. Needs power. Okay, I think we're gonna go back to the power substation real quick and see what we can find there. Alright, so we made a little detour to drop off that piece of map we found. And it uh, looks like it's a good thing that we did because this says the power plant key code is 9724. Which is perfect. Also it says, you know, it shows where the power plant is, the school, the bridge, and the caretaker's hut. Which I'm assuming is the murderer's hut. So I guess let's go to the power plant and turn that power back on real quick. When I did put the piece of map in the map holder, uh, it did sound like there was a horn or something going off. But I haven't, I don't see anything that would make the horn noise other than the school buses, I guess. Nine, seven, two, four, enter. Yeah. Hey, we got keys. Okay. Uh, we are missing... Those don't just pop out of the wall. Those are usually pretty, you know, made in there. But I guess we're going to the caretaker's hut now. Getting kind of the uh, go here, grab this, go here, grab that kind of vibe. More like Resident Evil without the zombies chasing you as you go through the mansion picking things up. Uh, these don't murder me. Alright. Uh, Spent the killer on the loose. Ah, I knew it! Ground's been still in hiding as police hunt goes cold. Mountain School Janitor has escaped the hands of the Sheriff Department. He is the main suspect in the school murders of six children. The officers have closed the school during the investigation, and the log cabin that he usually takes refuge in was left abandoned. I thought the school was closed because of toxic waste. Can I shut this behind me? What the... F um... What the heck was that? Can I grab any of these? No. Can't open that either. It doesn't look very abandoned. Well, there's one of those things. Was he making these? Hi. What is a skill? Nothing in the fridge, thank God, but I can't open that. A lot of signage, a lot of signage. Things have been really slow for a decent story at work. I don't think I have long left until I get the sack. <laughs> Mr. Thompson has been a total dick lately, ever since Mike stole the Jenkins Farm story from me last month. Always was a slimy douche. I really need a decent story. The Mountain School Killings will be an epic article and will surely make it to the front page. The school is off limits due to the toxic spill. I have come prepared. I managed to get a gas mask from Peter. He works at the Medical Sanitation Corp. He owed me a favor. I mean, I could get in a fuckload of trouble for going in, but I can't just just run the story as an anonymous interview from some old student. And these are some pretty pretty pictures. Why? Oh shit. That's not pretty. Why did that bust? We're not, yeah, we're good. We're just gonna ignore that. We can't go out the back. Uh, what was making... I thought there was somebody out there. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Things got a little creepy there. Uh, kind of interesting that the janitor went on a murdering spree, but then the school was closed for a toxic spill. Maybe that's what made him go crazy and murder all those kids? We're just gonna pop these bad boys on the wall. And... There's an order? I broke it all. I broke everything. Okay. Pull the levers in the correct order to commence power. What is the correct order? Bet you there's something back at the creepy shack. Okay, hold on. We're getting somewhere. Two, four, one, three, five. No. We're going back to Creepy Shack real quick. See if we can find the order to turn those on. <laughs> After running all over the place and not finding a code, I did notice that the light turns green when you hit the right one. So it's three, one. Uh, not four, not three again. Okay. Let's do three, one, five, two, four. We did it. Look at that. Holy crap, that is loud. Okay, we're going to leave. Oh, no, it's just still loud. Okay. So... That was a weird noise. Some of you might be yelling at me for not noticing that earlier, and I do apologize. I hate to make excuses, uh, but I am actually colorblind. Uh, so, well, I'm not true colorblind, like 100% or anything like that. I'm red and green deficient, um, which basically, you know, shades of red and green and red and green themselves are a lot more, more similar. I can't tell them, oh god, I'm passing out again. What is, is there something in the water? Oh no. Anyway, basically what things that look like completely different to somebody who doesn't have color blindness uh, are a lot more similar to me. Uh, my parents actually found out, kind of gauged that I was color blind because when I was little and hunting Easter eggs, uh, there was a bright red easter egg in the green grass and I couldn't see it. Or I had trouble seeing it. No, no, we have power. We just turned on the power. Oh, we gotta pull the big switch. Is that supposed to be electricity like popping and snapping? Oh, oh. Oh, that one was loud. All right, friends, I'm coming. Even though you roofied me, I'm here to save you. Nothing found. Oh, the gate shuts automatically. Reporter note two. Oddly enough, the power seemed to be on at the school. Very strange indeed. I managed to find the button that opens the main school gate. This place really is strange, eerie. Hard to think this was a fully functioning boarding school. The main entrance was locked. I found a set of keys to the security Port cabin. I guess these might open that side door. It's probably just psychological, but I could swear someone is following me. It will be that janitor. Ha! Ah, oh, poor shit. What? What just happened? That is a very big bench. More school buses. Shit. Why is this school bus on? I guess that's a real question. Why are all these buses on if this place has been abandoned? Stop. 
look and listen. Wayne Manor. I am Batman. What are you doing, Batman? I'm looking through your boxes and trash. These do not touch. So I saw this gate over here that's open. I'm assuming per the note that this is going to be locked. Yeah. We'll go around the far side real quick. Just going to get, you know, gauge our surroundings. I mean, other than the fact that it's overgrown, the power is on, which is a major plus. I don't see any lights inside, though. Oh, there is a side building. I feel like I would be able to hear my friends. Let's hopscotch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay. Oh, basketball. Need that. Oh. Can I hop on this? No. Swings? Man, they got a fleet of horses. A herd of horses. A stag of horses. Entry to school. All right, we're going where we shouldn't go. <laughs> we are using the light from our phone and the battery is almost dead. We found some paint in one of the classrooms and have painted arrows leading to where we are. Search for your friend. That is super creepy that they would do that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here since we have made it into the school. If you like what you see, consider giving me a thumbs up. If you want to stay on top of the videos that I am releasing, hit that subscribe button. And I will see y'all in the next one.